Here we have our randomization distribution for the body temperature example. Our null hypothesis was that mu equals 98.6, and our alternative hypothesis was that mu does not equal 98.6. Because our alternative hypothesis contains not equal to, we have a two-tailed test. In StatKey, we'll select two-tail. Our p-value is going to be the proportion of samples in this sampling distribution that have a mean more extremely different from 98.6 than our original sample. Our original sample had a sample mean of 98.26. This would fall on the left side of this distribution. So I'm going to change the bottom number on the left side to 98.26. Now we can see the proportion of samples on this dot plot that are more extreme than 98.26. On the left side, we have 0 0.00080. Because our sampling distribution is approximately normal, the proportion on the right side is also going to be 0 0.00080. Our p-value is the sum of these two areas, so 0 0.00080 plus 0 0.00080 gives us a p-value of 0 0.0016. This is a small p-value. If the null hypothesis were true, very few samples of n equals 50 would have a sample mean of 98.26 or more extreme. It's very unlikely that our sample came from a population with a mean of 98.6. In terms of hypothesis testing, we would reject the null hypothesis and conclude that the population mean is not equal to 98.6.